All right. I am here with Zoe Nowicki. It feels like we did this 30 seconds ago, mm -hmm. but here we go with another fight announcement. Uh, Zoe, right before we talk about this upcoming fight, I got to talk about your career so far. You stepped in there for your mixed martial arts debut against Ronna Gross, an incredibly credentialed, super high level wrestler. Um, you know, you got the victory in her hometown, went out to Madison, Wisconsin, pulled it off, incredible debut. And then you had a quick turnaround. You were right back to action. You took on Yinsi Alcantara, who's a girl that's been training mixed martial arts for like six years. She's a purple belt of jujitsu. She's finished both of her opponents. And you just went down to her home area and smashed her, dominated every round, won on the scorecards, I think 30, 26 unanimous, you know, and here we are again. It's time to step back in the cage. Mm -hmm. uh, right before we talk about this upcoming fight, tell me a little bit about those experiences, about your career thus far, just anything you'd like to say about what you've experienced and then what gives you the confidence to want to turn around and jump right back in the cage. So I'm pretty proud of my career thus far. Um, this last fight really built my confidence a lot. I kind of went into it a little nervous just because she's more of a well-rounded fighter than Rana, um, but it all turned out well and I got to use my skills. So um, I'm feeling more confident for this fight now too. So your opponent missed weight last time too. Mm -hmm. And you're on the verge where you're not even that far from dropping to the smaller weight class. Did Was that even a factor in your mind going into the fight? Did that add to the nerves? Did sh did you feel the difference? You know, because you can see in pictures, she was noticeably bigger than you. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of fans were asking about that. Just, just talk on that for a second. So the whole fight camp, I was under the impression we were actually about the same size. Um, and then I got to weigh-ins and she was quite a bit bigger than me. Uh, I might have worried about it for a second. Like, wow, this whole fight camp, I've been preparing for a short fighter like me. Um, but I knew that I've been training for everything. So I wasn't too worried. I have taller training partners, bigger training partners. I remember being across from her in the cage and I was like, wow, this girl is way bigger than me. But honestly, like it didn't really affect me at all. Uh, I was super confident going into this fight, just like I was the first one. So. So I want to ask you about, um, you know, your next opponent, she's incredibly dangerous. Mm -hmm. She's someone that, um, Everybody that follows our team knows who Alicia Zapatella is, who was a former Invicta world champion. She recently just faced Alicia in a grappling tournament in, in October for Medusa, and she was able to submit Alicia. So she's an incredibly credentialed jiu-jitsu practitioner. She's a brown belt in 10th planet. She competes in tournaments all over, and she is transitioning to MMA. She's kind of coming into the world that you've now been a part of for a longer period. Mm -hmm. Just give me your thoughts on the opponent. Give me your thoughts on, you know, stepping up to another huge challenge. It feels like you took on the elite wrestler. Then you took on the, took on the seasoned veteran of mixed martial arts. Now you're going after the jiu-jitsu practitioner. Just tell us all about this fight. Yeah, so I'm really excited for this fight. Um, the last fight I was really focused on jiu-jitsu too because she was a purple belt. So I think transitioning into this fight camp, I still have a good rhythm going. Um, I have high-level training partners that I'm training with. And I'm really excited to get in the cage and see what I can do against another super skilled grappler that has a lot of experience in even combat jujitsu. Let's drop all the fight details. So her name, the show, the date, the location, how can people watch? Are tickets available? Let's give, let's give the fans all the information. So her name's Nakaya Jackson, and we're fighting again in Knoxville, Tennessee at the Cotton Eye Joe on March 3rd. And then there is there will be a pay-per-view link. Um, it'll be shared when we get closer to the fight, but there will be a link out there. Now you're actually fighting alongside a teammate again. Mm -hmm. You have Ashley Eichner on the card making her mixed martial arts debut. One thing I want to ask you about, and I've asked pretty much all the girls about, we have an incredible squad of females here, and it's very rare in the MMA world. Like We have an army of female killers. Mm -hmm. What is it like having them as your training partners, preparing with them? Like Four of you are in fight camp right now for the same weekend of fights. What has that been like for you, Zoe? That was actually a huge factor in me taking this fight, was knowing that uh, all the other girls were in fight camp. They were going to be in here. We were going to build off each other's energy. It's the same exact weekend. It's We had the same emotions, the same hype. Um, I love those girls. We're all like best friends. We do stuff outside of the gym a lot now. Um, it's just a great support system. Everyone seriously supports and appreciates and loves each other and what we do for each other and what we bring to the table. We have, um, 
you know, good strikers, amazing wrestlers, and high-level jujitsu people. So, one thing that kind of blew me away at your last fight is you had an army of people in Knoxville, Tennessee. Like I was figuring, because we were driving so far away, so far from Michigan, that we would only have a couple people there. Maybe you know, mom and dad or mm -hmm. stuff like that. You had like half of the VIP section when you won the fight there was an army of people at the cage going nuts uh -huh. where in the world like um just talk about what it's like to have the following and the support and the love from the fans that you do already at this stage of your career it blew me away I could not believe how many people had made the trip down to Knoxville with us yeah I'm really so blessed I didn't expect this um this early on in my amateur career um you know, but it's so awesome to have. And I know that people are excited about this fight coming up um, and they want to come down again all the way to Tennessee. So I wasn't expecting that at this quick of a turnaround, but I seriously am so blessed. Um, for a while, I had a hard time believing that I deserved any of that, but I know I work so hard for what I do and I do. So. So one last thing I want to mention is, because a lot of people are following your career, they're supportive of you, they're excited to see you step back in the ring. But you also have been teaching private lessons and stuff to some little girls in here for wrestling. You're not just an athlete. I see you coaching. You're going to a high school. You're helping people out. How do you manage both those? And do you think it like brings energy in your life to also be giving back to the sport that built you up? Or you know, do you do it out of a sense of responsibility? Like, How do you keep yourself so dedicated and focused? Yeah, absolutely. Wrestling is my first love. Um, it'll probably be my greatest love. And it really inspires me. You know, I had the uh, girls that I do a private with, you know, reach out and say like how inspirational my fight was and it makes them want to do better and be motivated. And that really is what gets me and gets me emotional is when I hear things like that and that I'm helping these little girls, you know, um, have an easier path through wrestling and through uh, even MMA if they wanted through the sport um, because I had quite the road, so. Well, I'm telling you without question, you're inspiring them and you're inspiring countless others. People you've probably never even met are going to follow your journey and they're going to be amazed by what you're doing. So one more time, it's March 3rd at the Cotton Eye Joe, Knoxville, Tennessee for Aries Fight Series. You're going to see Zoe Nowicki step in the cage against Nakaya Jackson, an incredible high-level amateur fight. Tim, the matchmaker, told me, listen, even though there are pros on the card, He's like, if I can, I want to make this the main event. Wow. Uh, he's like, I understand how high level this is. Yeah. He's like, these two girls awesome. are two incredible prospects. So he's like, if I can make it happen, I'm going to make it main event again. Sounds good. So Zoe, thanks for sitting, sitting with me today and we'll wrap this up.